Welcome to the Creating Multi-Short Answer Questions in the Question Library demo. In this demo, you will learn how to create a multi-short answer question in a section in your question library. At the end of this demo, you will be able to create a multi-short answer style question in any assessment. First, log in to your D2L Brightspace account and go into your course. On the gray course navigation bar, click on the Assessments link. Notice the tabs at the top, Manage Assessments, Question Library, and Statistics. Click on the Question Library tab. Now we are going to create new questions in this section. Click on the section name to go into its folder. From the new drop-down button, Click on the Multi Short Answer Question. This is a fill in the blank question where the boxes to enter the answers are at the bottom of the question. The order of the answers in the answer blanks does not matter. You can leave the title of the question blank. Doing so will make the question text show up as the title. You can leave the points value set to 1. This number can be changed later when you create your assessment. Click in the question text field and enter in your question. Example, list three tools in D12 Brightspace. If you want to add an image to go along with this question only, click the Insert an Image button. Click the Upload button. Locate the image on your computer, select the image, click Open. Once your image is uploaded, click Add. Figure out the number of answers you need to leave. This is how many input boxes you need. In this example, we needed three. Set the row and column size of the answer box you want the students to see on the test. Fill in the answers in the answer box. If you need to add an answer choice, click on the Add Answer button. For this example, we will add 21 more answers. Note that three of the 24 answers will give the student full credit since there are only three input boxes. Order is not important. The weight box is for how much credit each answer gives the student. Assuming all answer choices are weighted evenly, divide the number of input boxes into 100 to get the weight of each box. For this example, we have three answers, so each box is weighted 100 divided by 3, or 33.33%. If at any point you would like to see what the question will look like, you can select the Preview button at the bottom. Once you have finished previewing the question, select Done to go back to the Edit screen. If you want to create another question very similar to this one, Click on the Save and Copy button. That will save this question and create another one with all of this question's information so that you can just edit this question's information instead of retyping it. If you want to create another question of this question type, click on the Save and New button. That will save this question and give you a new question of this question type. When you are finished making changes, click on the Save button in the bottom corner, and you will return to your question list. You have now successfully created multi-short answer questions in the question library.